Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and cover uh, the skill revamps part two uh, that was released maybe like, I don't know, six hours ago, ten hours ago. And the reason why I want to make a video about this specifically is because the revamps part two is actually kind of going over traps. Um, more specifically, fire trap, bear trap, lightning trap, and more specific changes and potentially even a new trap. So I haven't really read too much about this. I kind of skimmed over it, but I haven't actually read it in detail. So here we go. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, last week, we announced our plans to revamp many skill gems and initiated uh, an ongoing news series where we will continue to discuss what we are working on in this area. Our first skill revamp post included a few examples of skills that we're working on. Uh, okay, today's skill revamp uh, post discusses some changes to fire trap, bear trap, and lightning trap that we're currently experimenting with. Um, so one thing to note before I go into this is that like the reason why trap builds aren't really too popular right now is one, the fact that traps all have cooldowns. Um, it's kind of weird to put a skill on a cooldown when you can play a build and use like spell echo and faster casting and just scale as fast of a of cast as you want and an attack build vice versa. You have like faster attacks, multi-strike, um, so it's like, why exactly do they have a cooldown necessarily? Because um, with clear speed being at the all-time high right now, the cooldown kind of just really just kills that part of it. Uh, not with everything, but in one aspect it does. So the version of Fire Trap we're experimenting with no longer has a cooldown. The purpose of removing the cooldown is so that the skill can be used as often as required alongside other traps that have cooldowns. This version of Fire Trap also deals additional fire damage to burning enemies, which makes it great to use repeatedly on targets that are already in burning ground from a previous fire trap. We're also altering the burning ground from the fire trap so it's much more intense, but only lasts a short time. That's really good. We're still in the process of adjusting its values, but we're working on towards are working towards making it so that the skill using the skill repeatedly and a higher health target will be more than the effort for both the hits and the burning. While we don't have any numbers to confirm yet, the skill's damage and area have been slightly increased. To keep this skill in line with the above changes, we're planning to change Fire Trap from a level 1 starting skill to a level 12 skill. Ooh, that's question mark. The current plan is that it would become first available from the Siren's Cadence quest. We're planning for a new trap skill to take place as a level 1 enemy at the gate reward. We also intend for this new trap skill to have no cooldown. Okay, that's pretty crazy. That's a new skill. I don't know what it is. They have fire, lightning, ice, and bear. Well, I mean physical, not bear, but yeah. Um, I wonder, dude. Because that could be like... I don't want to say it's going to be chaos, because I don't think they're going to introduce something that early with chaos. Like, they have blight, but uh, I feel like more poison-related would be cool. It's my room... My roommate and I were... My roommate and I were talking about this a little bit, because um, he told me about this, about, like, what do I think, like, a new a new trap would be and he came up with the idea of like poison darts of, from labyrinth if it was like a poison dart trap um okay bear trap bear trap is another skill that we're working um on at the moment in our current plan it applies a debuff on enemies that increase the oh yeah they increase the damage they take from traps and mines the trap still does massive damage to the target triggering it. Those two effects should make it a powerful tool for taking on bosses. So that's cool. It adds a multiplier, potentially, to like your actual damage. The skills will still immobilize enemies for a duration that's based on how much damage the skill inflicts on them. We're currently testing out uh, having it apply significant movement speed reduction for a short time after the immobilization. That's like hinder for traps um, on like a boss. Lightning Trap. Lightning Trap will also be losing its cooldown so that you can use it as much as you want, like Fire Trap. In our test version, Lightning Trap has a higher base crit chance and gains a large increased critical strike chance against shocked enemies, which could give it a much stronger critical focus. We're making these changes while also working on a new trap-specific support gem that should synergize well with Lightning Trap. The new trap-specific support gem will give you a chance to generate power and frenzy charges when your traps are triggered while simultaneously giving you a critical strike multiplier or critical strike multiplier for each power charge and throwing speed for each frenzy charge. That sounds like... <laughs> that sounds really cool, actually. Um, as, long as, as long as it's just, like, you know, worth using, uh, which it seems it is because, I mean, 
like power charge and frenzy charge generation with um, uh, crit multi per power charge and throwing speed for frenzy charge. Throwing speed is going to be like your casting speed. We're developing changes to the shadow starting area and other trap clusters. The shadow will be offered passives that increase all trap damage right away. Um, rather than having to decide early on between using elemental or physical. This is really important too for trappers. Um, so that's that's actually awesome to hear like actual global trap nodes uh, in the, like as an actual class start. We're planning to introduce a number of new trap skills. Oh man, a number of new trap skills alongside these changes which we'll reveal more about about as their development progresses i cannot wait for this next league i want to play traps um it's worth noting that we're also planning to increase the active trap limit significantly but this is still undergoing testing to assess the risk of doing so there may be other changes to trap mechanics there what uh, but we're still discussing these options. It's likely that we will reveal more about this as we announce the upcoming trap skills and continue to keep you updated on our plans. Oh man, dude, I'm, I am so excited for 3.3 actually. I don't even care. Like if the league is like bestiary league all over again, please don't do this, Chris Wilson. Just don't. Just learn from the mistakes, accept them and move on. But uh, I'd still play it just for these changes right? that aren't even in the game. Um... So that's really cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments what this new trap skill is going to be. Like this level one, right? A level one trap skill that has no cooldown. That's really crazy. Like that's going to have an AoE, I think, right? So what would it be? Poison grenade? Kappa? Can we have some grenades? Um, I don't know. Rock throw? Trap throw? Well, it's a trap. Why am I thinking rocks? I don't even know. I'm, I'm kind of out of it. Anyway, um... Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.